But uh, yeah, he'll start with the glimpse. Yeah, now top tier and 24 second cooldown on level one. So very usable and well, now undying, dying. Tatomi getting that first blood on Snake King and Entity already repeating as we uh, saw in game two of the first. One of the few heroes who doesn't care too much about the Batrider. Slow, you can always run away. Nine. Waning Rift. Silence on a two. Impale lands on a Fishman. Nine here with the Illusory Orb. Trying to get some damage out to kill off Fishman. Fishman's got the glimpse, but it's not that far back, truthfully. Fishman's gonna get chased here, but... Well, Soxa dies, and they're coming around on nine. They get the kill on a Fishman. They end up trading, and... At least Nine gets something out of this entire chase, but Stormstorm are already back to lane. Nine still holding on to that Dream Coil, so wants to use it to get a big kill on Watson here. Exorcism is available if they find Watson. It's deeper into the trees, and they're going to start to take this Tier 1 tower. Exorcism, Stormstormer comes up towards top. 33 not working with a lot of mana, has Arcane Boots in just a second. But four heroes have showed up for Entity. Dream Coil is going to be on the two of them. They're trying to run, but the damage on the 33, they get the kill on the Death Prophet while the Exorcism's going. Tombstone up and immediately down. That's 125 gold going to Fishman, who's got the Kinetic Field up around Snake King, and the damage for Watson now that he's at level 6 is there, and they'll take out a second. Entity so quick with these rotations, so you can see the rainbow TPs that were ready to protect the Watson. Uh, they even... One item, Impel missing from Sox. So he does have this haste, but it's run out. And now they might even just look for a glimpse on him. Again, a little bit short in the range. They're going to chase. They have this word for when he shows up. Or, well, when he gets chased from Katomi. So, Soxa, he's dropping. Watson's got the damage with the multi-shot. And, I mean, Entity has really made it look quite clean up to this point. 8 to 1, only a 1k lead. Entity's moves have looked good, but for the moment, Skidder's getting a lot out of his lane. Ooh, Static Storm. And jaunt over to the Illusory Orb. Seeds of Serenity are down, but nine. He'll be Lasso. The commitment's in from Entity to take out this puck. And meanwhile, bottom, Skitter's able to run down this Visage. So has the help from Snake King with the Tombstone. And Skitter gets himself on the board. Stormstormer was thinking about not using them. As they're wise to the ward, and 33 is holding on to uh, some help. So clean up the vision. Now they've got the dust. Soxa, he's dusted up. Flame Break, Static Storm, all here on the Nyx Assassin. Spike Carapace, and Soxa will eventually fall. Not using that lasso, so still holding it. As 33 is coming over. He doesn't have a point of the silence, so really stopping them from continuing is going to be tough. They'll go to the glimpse, they'll try to pull him back. They and use the overgrowth. Now they've got the silence the from the drow. 33 as well as 9 in trouble. 9 falls, so does 33. These numbers are dying. Now look for Snake King too, and well, right now Entity, they haven't lost anything. A lot of zombies there. They still weren't able to kill that tombstone immediately, but we'll find another one. Ooh, and, and glimpse a glimpse. Time lapse, but right there, oh, they've got the lasso. They were ready and they got both. Oh. There's certain heroes in Dota that you need to know how to count the four. Kunkka is the This is just, the early start for Entity has allowed them to farm really well. Uh, Watson, he's going into the shard next. He's already got that early hurricane pike. That hypothermia is going to be big in these team fights. Dream Coil on a two with the BKBB popped here. They go to the Static Storm as well as the Kinetic Field. It's out of the puck. They'll get the kill on a Fishman, but it looks like they're going to lose two because both Snake King and Nine will fall. And that's another chunk of gold going towards Entity with that uh, Tombstone dropping again. So they keep feeding lives and two. 19 minutes into the game, we saw a lot of early gem pickups. This uh, could potentially get dewarded, and uh, he will do it. Never mind, it just expired. Oh. <laughs> the worst feeling. He hit it once, and then it expired. Glimpse. Static Storm, and they've caught themselves nine again. This is why we talked about the, this Disruptor being a really good pick into Puck, and also pre-BKB on Weaver, so that's gonna cause a lot of issues. Snaking, let's see if he decides to lasso it. Yeah, he will. he'll use it. And we're gonna stop the TP otherwise, and uh, Snaking's gonna drop here to Toby. Gotta put that lasso on cooldown for another 100 seconds. Glimpse, time lapse, but Kinetic Field, Skitter's in trouble, they've got the dust. They don't have the lasso this time around, but he doesn't have time lapse, so I mean, you'd like to go back in time, but you'll just spend time in timeout.
This is the second time Time Lapse was used like that and puts himself in a really bad spot. Big BKB. These two Invis heroes, he sees them with the gem. So, Ooh. bit of a difficult task. He gets D Ward as well. That was Time Lapse very early. And I'm a little worried for Skidder if the whole team starts to rotate on this one. Katomi's over to the side as he doesn't have overgrowth. They'll get the glimpse, they'll get the kill. It's out of this tree. And the illusory orb and the jaunt won't be used. But they're still diving, they're still looking. Static Storm in the kinetic fields committed as well as the Dream Coil. It's down and snapped on Fishman. But can they go to over and get some more? Flame break, got right silence. clicks. The silence, is it long enough? It is. Nine going down to Watson again. Yeah, that long duration silence, it's maxed out now. So six seconds. Uh, it wasn't even a straw. Has been popping off, like, uh, in terms of matchup, uh, all she needs to do is survive the initial burst, and they do have the countermeasures for it. And then once you have that silence, uh, it's very difficult for these play, like these heroes to play into it. Undying, dying one more time. Impale landed, now Nine's gonna come over, go to the Dream Coil again, but 33, he's into the fight, the right click's coming out from Watson, they've got the Static Storm as well as the Lasso, that's gonna be out of the Weaver, they get the kill there on a Soxa. Now, can they get anything on this on the side of Tundra? They'll look over at nine. He falls to Katomi, 33 with the BKB, with the right click damage, and Storm Stormer right on top of this Death Prophet. There's nowhere for you to run, 33. They've got the Sticky Napalm. They'll have the right click damage. The silence is going to miss. They'll take out the Death Prophet. They'll look over at the Weaver. Skidder falls. Four heroes down on the side of Tundra. And it was a team wipe because Soxa bought back. Yeah, this is just like fighting into Aegis, uh, and it's uh, one death on Toby. That's about it. All the other kills were on support. Saksa. They can collect gold if they can start to kill these these cores, but it's not working. Ooh, Dust. Even the Overgrowth committed. Spike Carapace locks up Storm Stormer as now they've got the right-click damage to get the kill on a Snake King. Three-man impel, a little bit of a ravage. Skitter comes over and now he's going to start to right-click with the Desolator. But the Lasso's out on a Skitter. They get the kill on a Saksa. Locks him from the low ground, getting the kill on a Nine. And they will take out these heroes one by one. They finally lose the Disruptor. Fishman falls to the wayside, but Snake King's looking like he's going to die again. Nine comes back in, but Katomi's on him once again. Nine, they've got the call Gust. It. They'll get the kill. You can call this Team Seven because they just ate Nine. They, they bought back, they went all in, and the uh, Entity can't get inside of the base and just close Ooh, out this Katomi. game. It's gonna die, but 33 also falls. They don't have buyback, I, it was already used by 9. They, they bought back on three heroes, like these heroes immediately explode. Watson uncontested, they can't really do anything to him. So, we'll take the bottom set of racks. And they'll still continue to try and hold on, but Skidder trying to run. Throws the Swarm out, a little bit of right clicks, one flame break, Storm Stormer back out of the high ground, but they've got the Gust. He has to run. Can he hide the dust, the familiars, the lockdown, the kill, the flames, it's all there. GG is called, and they will take out Tundra in the second tiebreaker game. Not scripted at all. Not. So, continuing the script, continuing on.